Sometimes banks invest your money three or four times. <laughs> they'll invest it at this place, they'll invest it at this place, and they'll invest it at this place. And if they make a profit, they don't just make one profit, they make what? Three times the profit. But they don't know, they, you, I bet some of y'all didn't know that they did that. They How do they do that with not having that money yet? They do it. It's called credit. And they do that all the time. You got to watch these banks. What's old saying? Nothing is what? Nothing is free. They're going to give you money. Yeah, they give you money. But do you think they're giving you money because they just care so much for you and they just. Yeah. No. They're going to make money off your money. And if they know that it's staying in there for 10 years, they're going to invest it for 10 years. Here's continuous. What time is class over? Ten minutes. Okay. All right, here's your second formula. The first formula was simple interest. Second formula is, co is compound interest. Here's your third formula. Simple interest is a friend. You just multiply the interest times $1,000 and then 12 months, you're supposed to get that much money back. So con continuous compounding is the letter E. And there it is. Some banks choose E instead of doing all that calculating.
So, if we have a problem, now everybody look on your look on your handy dandy calculator and look right above the natural log symbol. Now I don't know. I'm looking on TI eighty three. Yep. Should be e to the x. You hit second e to the x, or a second log. And there it is. So if I raise e to the second power, you put a two in there, and then hit enter, you come out with seven point three eight. If I raise e to the fifth power, that'd be five. It'd be thirty two something. It'd be over thirty two. It'd be E is 2.73, I'm sorry, 3 to the 5th power would be a big number, 148. E to the 12th power, is that number? So basically E is equal to 2.71, okay? And that is a number, if you want to know where it comes from, it comes from a number, hold on, it comes from a similar table I'm trying to find the, didn't it have a graph of the, well somewhere in your book there's a graph of the not the graph under the formula? Which one? No, no, no. I'm looking for the compound interest. Just give me a second. Right there. See the compound interest graph right here? Basically, they found a number that gives you about the same graph. And that number is 2.71. And they called it E. Basically, in a nutshell. So, when you use the compound interest formula with E, it gives you basically the same type growth as your compound interest, except it's continuous. So you get a little bit more benefit out of it. So how do you do it? <coughs> you deposit $100 in an account with an APR of 8% and continuous compounding. How much will you have after 10 years? Well, you multiply the APR, 8%, Times what? Ten. Ten. And raise it right there. So that'd be hundred dollars. Now how do you do it? This is this is how you do it. You take point zero eight, multiply it by ten. Oh. I'm sorry, point eight. Yeah, point zero eight times ten. <laughs> and then you raise E to now watch this. Everybody watching? Second function, natural log, second function, answer. <laughs> natural log, second function, that's a little subtraction symbol right here. That's the last answer that you got. So you don't have to type in point A. And your answer is $225.55. A hundred, I'm sorry, about a hundred. There you go. All right. Y'all, what, what section is this?